Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a lesson on the systems of linear equations using the addition method, all right? So, so far you've probably learned how to solve systems using the graphing method. Well, there's other methods as well to learn the solutions to a system problem, okay? And this one's actually kind of pretty cool. Um, so check out this problem. We're gonna, we're gonna take some notes together and then you have some problems to try on your own and then at the end you can see how you did, all right? So please follow along with me uh, for the first couple pages here. All right, so for this problem, we have 2x plus 3y equals negative 1, and then x minus 3y equals 4, okay? If you notice, look at the, the y values, the 3y and the negative 3y. If you notice, these are opposites, okay? So that's what you need to be looking for in order to use the addition method, okay? So I'm going to write over here, opposites. All right. And notice what happens when you have opposites, okay? What we can do is we can actually add these together. So 2x and x gives us 3x. 3y and negative 3y, now these cancel out when we add them together, right? And then 4 and negative 1 add, adds up to 3. So we get 3x equals 3. Now I'm going to solve for x by dividing both sides by 3. And we get x equals one. So we know the solution to our system problem is going to have an x value of one. But now we need to get the y value. Okay. So what you do is you take this one and you plug it back into either equation. So I'm going to rewrite the bottom equation as x minus 3y equals 4. And I'm going to replace this x with a 1. So it's going to be 1 minus 3y equals 4. So now I'm going to solve for y by taking away 1 from both sides. So we get negative 3y equals 3. And then divide both sides by negative 3. Which means y is now going to equal 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. So the solution to our problem is going to be x is 1 and y is negative 1. All right. And when in doubt, take the time to, to take these values and plug them into each equation. If you notice that, you're going to notice that x and y together, 2x plus 3y is going to equal negative 1, and then x minus 3y will equal 4. All right, so if you turn the page, let's take a look at a different one. All right, now this one, we're going to do the addition method, okay? So now we're going to add something called the multiplication method as well. So technically, this is called the addition with multiplication. Now, I told you before, it's important to look for opposites, right? So here we have a 3x and an x, so that's not an opposite. And here we have a y and a negative 2y. Hmm, so that's not an opposite either. So we're kind of out of luck if we're gonna use the addition method. Except this is something you can do. You can take one of these equations and multiply the entire equation by a common factor. So for this one, I'm gonna multiply it by two. I'm gonna show you why, all right? So if I do two times 3x, that gives us 6x. And then 2 times y, that gives us a 2y. And then a 2 times 4, that's going to give us an 8. Now, here's the deal. This 6x plus 2y equals 8 is the same equation as 3x plus y equals 4. Except now, look at this right here. Now we have opposites. So now we can do the addition method. So 6x plus x is 7x. And that's going to equal 8 plus 6 is 14 and then divide both sides by 7 and we get an x value of 2. All right, so now to get the y value, I'm going to plug in the 2 into either one of these equations. I'm going to use the top one. So let's use a different color here. So our equation is 3x plus y equals 4 and I'm going to replace this x here with a 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 plus y equals 4 and then take away six from both sides, and we get y equals negative two. So our solution to the system is gonna be x is two, and y is negative two. That's a negative two right there. All right, so here's a cool thing. Let's say if we graphed the equation three x plus y equals four, and also graphed x minus two y equals six, they would meet at the point of, of the point two and negative two. All right, 
So now they understand this thing called the, the addition method and then the addition method with multiplication. Why don't you pause the video and try the problem and then when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these addition problems, okay? So the first one, we have 4x plus 5y equals 22. And the second one, we have 25x minus 5y equals 65, okay? And notice we have a nice set of opposites here, right? We have 5y and negative 5y. So when we add these together, 4x and 25x gives us 29x. The 5y and the negative 5y, they cancel out. And then when I add the 22 and the 65, we get 80. Seven. All right. Now to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by 29, and 87 divided by 29 gives us three. So we know we're going to have an x value of three. Now to get the y value, I'm going to take that three and plug it into one of the equations. So I'm going to rewrite the equation down here as 4x plus 5y equals 22, and I'm going to replace this x with a 4. So 4 times 3 gives you 12 plus 5y equals 22. Now I'm just going to solve for y. So take away 12 from both sides. So we get 5y equals 10, which means y is going to equal 2. All right, so the solution to this system problem is x is 3 and y is, is 2. All right. Now, the second one, we have x plus y equals 7, and 3x minus 2y equals 11, okay? And again, if you notice, there's no, there's no opposites. We have a 3x and an x. We have a y and a negative 2y. And we have a 7 and 11. So I'm going to use the multiplication method first, and then the addition method. So I'm going to try to make this y a 2, because if this is a 2y, it's going to cancel out with this negative 2y, right? Which means, so I'm going to multiply everything here by a factor of 2. So that's going to now give us a 2x plus 2y equals 14. And now I can now add these because 3x and 2x is 5x. And that's going to equal 11 plus 14 is 25. And you can probably tell by now that x is going to equal 5. So that's the first part. Now, to get the y value, we have to substitute this x or this x up here with a 5. I'm going to use the top one. So I'm going to re rewrite the equation as x plus y equals 7. And then replace this x with a 5, right? So 5 plus y equals 7, which means y is going to have a value of 2. All right, so the solution to the system problem is x is 5 and y is 2. All right. How'd you do?